Hello, today uh, I will show you a new video. Uh, the video will be about uh, steel connections and how to place component in the steel frame. This steel frame uh, was done before. Uh, I made some other videos about how to make all the structure parametrical. Uh, there are several parts and you can see it uh, in the description below. But now I will show you how <coughs> we can make some components, automatically place it in our structure. So let's just first uh, show how it can work. Uh, now we have um, this number of column and then if you make it smaller, so our algorithm needs some time and uh, it should be update like this. Um, sometimes there could be a lag. I really suggest to delete structure at all and then maybe update it like like this. And now it should be correct. Um, okay. So what we can do, we can go to the base plate and then we see a component. A component uh, you can find here in the tackle sections edit component and depends on uh, what kind of component you put here uh, this part will be updated for example for the column we have only main part and point and for beam to beam uh, there will be additional row then uh, we will see one secondary beam so that's why um, we need a component catalog it will be also here right and then double click again uh, the same procedure how we did for reinforcement. Uh, for reinforcement, uh, I showed before um, in my uh, previous video. Uh, I forgot. Okay, we need 1004. So uh, we can search number of component or the name. For example, you see mm, number. Or also we can find the same cut component. Like if you go to the plate. Okay, maybe not. Base, base plate. Okay, we can do it. We say click, put to the name, the same like in this part, and okay, it will be um, linked. So I think this is pretty easy. We put the number of component that's attribute file, which define uh, the parameters, for example, we see I have two bolts and four bolts um, settings. That's why if I change in the text box uh, four bolts to two, uh, my base plate will be updated. And uh, I think this is pretty easy. We need also connect main point, main part and points. How to find main part and points? we see on the left this is a section of the tecla export it was already done in the previous video that's why i will not uh, repeat again how you can make it you should check the descriptions below that's why we link um, export member from the tecla to the component in the part to the main part and points where will be points, ah, points, points should be, it seems for me the same, ah, no, sorry, uh, we don't have any points because uh, Grasshopper automatically understands that uh, base play should be created in the low level, but sometimes if you need to specify, that's why you also need to click points uh, of maybe of the top of the column. For example, if you make a cap for the column, that's why uh, you should specify the point. Okay, that works pretty good uh, without any comment. Uh, yeah, sometimes it can have a luck. What happens, I don't really know. Um, but okay, base plate works. Now we could see 
uh, we also can make a component beam to column and uh, beam to beam. They're all here and uh, the logic is absolutely the same. Um, component catalog, we can find uh, connections which we need. In my case, it's a clip angle connection, one for one. And uh, main part is our all red beams. They are from, ah, this is columns. Uh, main part, all columns and the secondary palm part, all beams, all red beams on the first floor. But here we have a problem. Uh, Grasshopper cannot automatically understand that uh, how we need to connect because if we select the component in our tackle we can see only three connections created for the first beam and for the last beam in the one point. Why it can happen? This is because we have lists which have a different length. Uh, I created it here. For example, this is our columns and this is our beams. That's why we can see that um, we have nine columns and only six beams. Um, I understand that uh, when Grasshopper starts to create connection between uh, members, so he will take first column and the first beam uh, of the list. Then it will take uh, second and still uh, based on the connection settings he can would like to connect the first beam again uh, and then when it goes to the third uh, I think maybe he cannot connect then this point and this beam and then algorithm kind of broken and then he will finish this connection only with the last point uh, it seems for me that lists should be match with each other uh, if you really interested in how to match them please write a comment uh, i will try to think uh, how you can get it because it's kind of really not obvious um, but at least you can get the first two connections and then you can um, kind of continue or maybe copy it around uh, the same problem we can get when we connect beam to beam uh, beam to beam connection it means secondary beam to the main beam yellow to red um, for example here um, what kind of connections we have we have connections uh, which are created successfully in the first sections and then we also see that in the same place we have another component which was not created and probably this is uh, grasshopper want to connect this point uh, to this beam so it should be here right but uh, he doesn't understand it and try to connect this point to this beam that's why um, component is failed uh, but uh, settings works successfully we now see that three bolts of the angle uh, created in the place which we need and then again if we need to change uh, number of balls so maybe settings uh, we can make it as well and connections will be updated so um, it this method can perfectly work for the simple structure when you don't have a lot of members or maybe when you don't have interface between members uh, for example such as a column base plate as you see otherwise um, you need kind of align lists and points uh, to each other for example maybe grab some points of these beams and link it only with one member but it also seems for me kind of uh, difficult work in the grasshopper um, in my work i don't really need it but if this is can be important for you uh, again you can write a comment i'll try to think uh, how how you can make it because I'm also curious. That's it for today. Um, I hope it will be useful for you to see how it can work. So maybe also uh, some components will be updated in the future, or maybe for another version. But now I want to say goodbye and uh, please like and subscribe this channel if it was useful for you. Uh, of course, it will help me 
and uh, motivate to create a new video for you. Then, goodbye, wish you a good day.